everyone and welcome to my channel my name is Febri. in today's video i am here on boxburg because it is halloween night tonight and i still haven't decorated my house for halloween i know i am very very late so i thought in today's video we're gonna go ahead and decorate my house for halloween so that when i have trick-or-treaters later that they know that my house will be filled with the best candy so i am here on my memory lane plot as you guys can see where we have three houses and i was thinking that we could probably do like three different themes so maybe one house would be like a pumpkin theme one house can be like a skeleton graveyard theme and then the third one let's have a look what could that be maybe like a ghost kind of theme but yeah i thought that'd be kind of cool because we have loads of pumpkins so that could be pumpkin house and then the main house which is the house i live in can be like skeleton house and then this one is going to be a ghost house i just think that will look really cool i'm only going to do the exterior because this is only going to be up for one day so i don't want to spend all my time taking down all the decorations oh but before i forget guys i have been working hard okay i've had all my old accounts up because we have been trying to get this ghost trophy and i finally did it look i even took a video as proof i've been doing the ghost hunt and i've been working so 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 hard and i finally got the ghost trophy because it was times two this weekend so it's been amazing for me and yeah i used buddy and i used grandma and they were helping me so much but yeah, let me show you guys what the little ghost trophy looks like. And I can actually put that in the ghost house. Oh, look, here it is. Look, Halloween Trophy 2024. This spooky trophy was earned through your impressive collection of event tickets during the 2024 Halloween event. And look, there it is. It's so cute. So I got my little ghost. It says 2024 on it. But yeah, it's so cute. So yes, I finally got it. I worked hard for it and I did it. But anyway, before we start decorating for the houses, I'm just going to try and like place all the items that I want to use for each house. So okay, this is going to be a pumpkin house. Let me get some of the pumpkin themes here. Oh, where's my pumpkin gone? Oh, it inflated. Okay, wait, come over here. Let's put them in the road so I know what I'm using. Um, What else is a pumpkin? Okay, yeah, we have some of these. We'll place that here just so I know what I'm using. We have a pumpkin pot. Oh, wait, these are all in my inventory. Hey, I'm just using my inventory stuff. I just probably a good idea. Okay, let's just use this. We also have a witch pumpkin. We have a lot of pumpkin theme items. Oh, and we have this Halloween archway. This would be perfect. Okay, so let's look in the shop area and see what else we have. Oh, yeah, we have little miniature pumpkins, baby ones. We have a little candy bucket. That's a pumpkin. We have a little porcelain jar. I'm just going to try and get everything that can be one. So we have a normal pumpkin, we have a housed one, a smiley one, a scary one, and a ghost one. And then we also have the tall pumpkins. I'm just going to place these ones down. Is that a tall one as well? Oh no, this one is way taller. And then we have a normal one. And then scary and smiley. We also have the pumpkin paper bags. We have so many pumpkin items, I never realized. Oh yeah, then we have the pumpkin mat, pumpkin pillow... Okay, so that should be all of my pumpkin items. Get that ready. And then in the middle house, what did I say we want to do? We want to do skeletons. So this is kind of going to be like the graveyard. So let's get some of these ready over here. Just so I know what I'm going to use. Let's get the large skeletons. Wait, what's this one? Oh, the giant skeleton. Yes, we need him. Oh, we need the emerging feet. Like they're stuck in the ground. Oh yeah, we need the coffin beds. Oh my gosh, we got loads. We got all of these, place these around. I hope I have enough tickets, actually. I'm going to be running out very, very soon. We have the oof gravestone. All the zombies. Should I do zombies? Zombies kind of like in a graveyard, too. Oh, we can have the ones where they come out of it, the animatronic ones. <gasps> so you can scare all the trick or treats, and I can have all the candy for myself. Oh, we need the scary one coming out from the ground. Scary skeleton. Okay, and then next, we need to look at our ghost house that we're going to be using. So we can use this inflatable one here. I'll put another one here too. Oh, we can even use the ghost like neon signs. Wait, I'll put that like here. Oh, yeah, that looks cool. We have a little ghost pot here as well, like little ghost babies. Oh, we can have the little ghost witch. And then we can have like a cauldron as well. Yeah, look, we have little ghost candles. Look how cute these are. We have ghost pillows. And then for the witch, we can have like a cauldron and then also like a cauldron filled of candy. Oh, and we need the witch's broomstick bike. 
Oh, and the potion bottles. Okay, I think I know what theme I'm going to do now for the houses. So now I just need to start decorating and make it look like it is more in the theme of Halloween. So I'm going to go ahead and do a little speed build now of me trying to decorate the houses for Halloween. And I'll show you guys the final result. Okay, so everyone, I think I finally decorated all three houses for Halloween. I hope they look okay. As long as the trick-or-treaters know that they can come to our houses for candy, then that is all that matters. But I feel like first I need to go ahead and change my outfit because my outfit is not giving Halloween. So just give me one second. Okay, so here I am. I'm all dressed up for Halloween. I am dressed as a vampire to kind of go with my house behind me with the coffins and the skeletons. But let me go ahead and show you guys the houses. So this is what it looks like at daytime, but I feel like it'll be better to look at nighttime. So let me just change the time of day. Okay, so here we are at nighttime, as you guys can see. Now it looks more spooky. So let me go ahead and show you guys. Let's start with the pumpkin house because this house is actually really cute. Look at it. It's all decorated. It's kind of like fall themed as well. So it's like autumn, fall, but also Halloween. And I think it looks so nice. It looks kind of cozy as well. This one's not as scary, maybe apart from this witch over here, she's a bit scary. But this one's more cute, and I think we'll definitely get trick or treats at this house. So this is the pumpkin house. And then next, we have my house, which is like the skeleton, creepy, kind of like the death house, because we have a gravestone around here, and we have scary spiders. Oh, and we also have animatronics, so if you guys get close, the trick or treat is going to get scared because these are going to fall down and then that means I get all the candy to myself. But if they do answer the door, they will be met by Mr. Skeleton. So yeah, this is like the spider skeleton death house. And then next door, we have the ghost house. So this is the ghost house. Also the witch's house because I've got some witches in here too. Um, but yeah, I think this looks really cool. I think the neon signs look so good at nighttime. I did have to buy a lot of candy, by the way, because... 
I ran out of so many tickets, so I had to buy loads. So that's the only downfall about trying to decorate three houses. But yeah, let me zoom out so you guys can see. We have ghost house, we have scary spider skeleton house, and we have pumpkin house. So let me know what you guys like the most. I do think they're all cool all together. I like the fact that each house has a different theme. It makes them look all different. But yeah, I hope you guys like it. Let me just show you guys the animatronics because it's so cool. So even in the coffins, look, if I go near it, oh, the trick or treats are going to get scared by it. And then also, if you go near the house, the spiders drop down on you. So I feel like this house has more of like scary vibes. And then this house is quite cute and it's more full vibes. And then the ghost one is more like cute, scary. So we've all gone for different themes. If trick or treaters get too scared at my house, then they can just trick or treat at these ones here because it's more spooky than anything. But the fog machines really do help. I added fog machines on this house and also on this house just to make it a bit more scary. But yeah, that is it, guys. That is me decorating all three houses for Halloween. And then I'll have to take it all down after today. But anyway, I hope you guys have a wonderful Halloween. Go ahead and get loads of candy, but don't have a sugar rush. But yeah, I am now going to wait for some trick-or-treaters and give them some candy. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys want to see next. We can actually start thinking of some Christmas ideas now, which is so much fun. I love Christmas time. Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet already. Like this video for more content and I'll see you guys next time.